What if the most advanced airplane in the world didn't fail, but the humans flying it misunderstood it? June 26, 1988, Habsheim Airfield, France. Thousands of spectators gather for an air show, waiting to witness the future of aviation. At the center of attention stands a brand new aircraft, the Airbus A320. Sleek, silent, revolutionary. Fly-by-wire technology promises safety like never before. Air France Flight 296 is not a routine commercial flight. It's a demonstration. A short hop from Basel to Habsheim, carrying crew, engineers, journalists and guests. Everything looks good for the demonstration flight. The plan is simple. A low-altitude fly-past to showcase the aircraft's smooth handling, followed by a climb away. But what looks simple in planning can turn fatal in seconds. As the A320 approaches the runway at very low altitude and low speed, the pilots expect immediate engine response. Instead, the aircraft continues to sink. Trees rush closer. The engines spool up, but not fast enough. At 12.44 p.m., the world's most advanced airliner clips the treetops beyond the runway and crashes into a forest, breaking apart and catching fire. Miraculously, most on board survive. Three passengers lose their lives, not from the impact, but from smoke inhalation. The investigation that follows shakes the aviation world. Was it pilot error? A misunderstanding of fly-by-wire protections? Or did automation behave in a way pilots weren't fully prepared for? Investigators conclude the aircraft was flown too low and too slow, outside safe margins for a demonstration. The engines were at idle longer than realized, and the crew underestimated the time required for thrust to increase. The aircraft's systems worked as designed, but design alone could not compensate for human expectations. Air France Flight 296 doesn't become a story of mechanical failure. It becomes a lesson in transition from traditional flying to computerized control. From this crash, pilot training, flight display awareness, and demonstration procedures worldwide are forever changed. Because in aviation, progress isn't just about technology, it's about understanding it.